right, we're talking about fog and boy, we could have a lot of it by morning. In fact, we could see visibility is close to zero over much of the area. And because of that, we do have a dense fog advisory from 11 o'clock tonight till 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at Ada, three and a half inches of rainfall today. Holdenville over three inches of rainfall. Bixby almost two inches of rainfall. Tahlequah, same boat. McAllister about an inch and a half. And of course, in Tulsa, we had over an inch of rainfall and we're not done yet. More rain will return tomorrow by the middle part of the day, maybe a break Thursday and then more widespread rain on Friday. The heaviest, though, should remain off to the south and east, and that's where we have the flash flood watches that are in effect. And it's all because of this system. This is what caused the tornadoes in Dallas today. What caused our heavy rain? This is going to spin down into eastern Texas and then eventually lift across Oklahoma on Friday. So that's going to keep us in the rain right on through the end of the week. And you'll see the rain just kind of backing in around that low pressure area because it's spinning counterclockwise. So our rain is approaching from the southeast, moving back to the northwest. That's kind of unusual. And then Thursday, again, a little bit of a break, maybe some sunshine. And then Friday, here comes that final wave that will lift up into the area. And so the rain totals, when it's all said and done, are going to be heaviest down here across far southeastern Oklahoma. And I'm talking about close to five, six, seven inches of rainfall by the time Friday afternoon, Friday evening rolls around. Now, next week for spring break, if you've got a trip, pick out the part of the country that you're going to and watch what happens. Little rain on the east coast to start the week. Best storm system in the Ohio Valley. Chicago looks rainy on Thursday. That moves up into Cleveland, Atlanta, and over toward New York, and then it's out of there on Friday. Most of the, the country next week looks pretty good, except for that one storm system that moves through the middle part of the week through the middle part of the country. Right now, 57 light southeast winds, and with light southeast winds and fairly clear skies, we are set up for that fog overnight, and we'll watch the temperatures fairly consistent here in about the middle 50s right on through 6 a.m. So I'm throwing fog in there for Bartlesville and Pawhuska 51. Benita down to 52. We'll see overnight lows in Tulsa around 54. Wagoner around 55 with that fog thick at Shakota. And our chaser Denny Bryson already reporting some fog down in the Shakota area. 57 in McAllister with calm winds overnight. Then tomorrow, fog in the morning. The rain will wash that out. We'll get back to some rain to the south by 9 a.m. Everyone should be into some rain by noon. It could rumble in the afternoon, but the severe weather threat has moved out of our area. Just general thunderstorms if we see any of that tomorrow. Grove 64, Pawnee 68 degrees. Then we'll see a high temperature in Okmulgee around 65, Stillwell 63, and Okima about 66 degrees, and 66 at McAllister and Tallahena. And the seven-day forecast, we're looking at high temperatures. 30% chance of rain on Thursday, 67, then 65 on Friday, 68 Saturday, and then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're looking at temperatures into the upper 70s and low 80s. And today, I had a fun time up in Bartlesville. I went to the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at OSU Bartlesville. It was at the library. We did the Great Decisions 2016 program. We talked about climate change. And just want to shout out to Sally Bernard, who, be, because it was raining, I think, <laughs> gave me an umbrella. But it's OSU color, so I love it. <laughs> there you go. Right so in. thank you, Sally. I had a great time up there today. All right. Speaking of OSU.